PMT, PMS, premenstrual syndrome, premenstrual tension, period pain, or moon time, as I've heard it called. Um, I had a bit of a realization last night um, as I was on the, the first night of my period and having um, quite bad pains and quite a lot of sickness. I had a realization around the complexity of this place within my cycle. I realized as I was awake and that I was awake not just because of the pain that I was feeling. So I woke up late in the middle of the night and was just kind of suffering. <laughs> but it wasn't just because that I was in pain around my abdomen. But more so when I looked into it, because my senses were heightened to excess. Um, every every movement around me, every creak in the house, every delicate movement of, like my husband turning over in bed, or, um, you know, little movements outside. Um, I heard them and felt them like loud slaps upon my being. I was sort of laying in bed like, oh, oh. Oh, it was just, I was so sensitive to, to noise and the subtle sounds of electrical devices in the house, even the something, there's something outside that's on, I'm not sure if it's a street light or something like that, um, it was so shrill in my ears, it was like scraping across my nerve endings. And like every sensation that I had, every wave of nausea, every sensation of cramping felt very exaggerated and very potent inside my body. Um, the, the heat and the cold and everything felt very heightened. Um, everything very heightened as I was lying there, sort of still in the dark, contemplating, you know, contemplating my experience. And it was like everything was being pulled to the surface, like all the all the worry, the hidden worry that I'm that I have, you know, as a human being, the little fears, um, the discomfort, the pain on lots of different levels, not just physical but emotional stuff, stuff that's been hidden in the darkness was just sort of rising to the surface. It was like it was being dragged to the surface in waves of contraction and nausea from deep within me. Mm -hmm. You know, when I thought about this, I thought, you know, wow, is this what, is this what PMT is? I, I don't know about premenstrual tension, just menstrual tension and period pain. You know, is it more than just... Um, you know, a physical pain in the body, a physical release. You know, is this more? Is this more of an issue for some of us? An issue with sensitivity. So I start to think about surrender <clears throat> and surrendering to all of this because I'm laying there in the dark and I'm thinking, well, I've got not much of an option but to surrender to it. Um, I'm sort of hoping that I can go to sleep. And I can just sleep it off. And as I'm laying there awake, I'm thinking, well, there's just surrender. And I think about how, you know, we talk about surrender in sort of like that it's something easy, you know, oh, I just surrender to it. And it never really is. It's not the reality for me anyway, with surrendering to anything. You know, surrendering is very different to I can't be bothered. So I'll just forget it or I'll just let go surrendering for me that's not the energy of surrender at all that's more the energy of laziness <laughs> surrender for me is quite an active pursuit it's like um, surrender for me is when I want something so last night I wanted a release from the the pain and uh, you know I wanted my senses to uh, dull down a little bit um, I want something, but what I have to rem what I have to learn to do is somehow let go to the thing I don't want, and that is surrender. 
so last night I had to surrender to the the place in my cycle, the process that I was in. So if you get my meaning, it's like I didn't want to be in that process. But real surrender is when you let go to that which you you actually don't want. <laughs> but you say, okay, I surrender to you. So I'm thinking about surrendering to the cycle and surrendering to the sensitivity that I feel. I'm thinking about how, you know, how difficult that actually is in reality. I think about at this point every time I've reached for a painkiller or a pill to make it stop. I think about why I've wanted to make it stop. You know, when I was younger, I needed to go to school or go to college or go to work or, you know, get the kids ready for school and all of that kind of stuff. So I've wanted to make this cycle stop so that I continue, so I can continue life as normal as a woman in this place within my cycle. And then I think about replacing the word con- continue life for the words rep- suppressing life. As I realize that this place where I'm at is a natural place within my life every month. You know, and I know that a lot of people talk about the feminine and suppression of the feminine and all of that. I just speak to this today because I've never thought about it in these terms. That when I'm taking a pill to get away from my period, I'm actually, you know, doing that thing that, you know, we all do so often is we, you know, we're trying to escape that which we don't want as opposed to surrendering to it and allowing it to be part of our normal life. So we allow the, the cycles of the dark as well as the cycles of the light. So I realize that in this place of sensitivity, you know, as there's nothing else for me to do, I realize that I rarely surrender to this aspect fully. I rarely surrender to this experience fully you know, the experience of um, being at that stage in my cycle, the moon time as it's called, the sensitivity, the having to be still because there's nothing else for it. I'm wondering why don't I embrace this as part of my life? I I do more so now that I'm older, but why why did I never embrace this before? Why is it so hard to surrender to the moon? And I'm thinking about the times when I was a teenager. It's like as a teenager, I I suffered with period pain. I suffered with mood swings, premenstrual tension. I was difficult at these times. I was stroppy. I was hypersensitive, um, looking for anything that would make it stop. And you know, and I recognize this because even as a 45 year old woman, I'm still kind of doing that. <laughs> so, you know, oh my God, here we go again. This, this time once a month where I'm like hyper sensitive, hyper emotional, hyper, hyper irritable. Um, yeah, and what is that? Trying to overcome nature rather than go with it and today you know last night I'm at 45 years old I consciously surrender I'm exhausted I'm exhausted from this process I'm hypersensitive Um, everything is bugging me even though nothing's happening it's the middle of the night And as I surrender to this particular place within this cycle, this particular sensitivity, I'm taken deeper into the understandings of myself. So I'm recognizing the sensitivity that I feel when I'm at the start of my period, when I begin to bleed. 
And as I go into the, the waves of discomfort, I go deeper and deeper into myself. I realize that I'm hyper aware, I'm hyper receptive, and I'm moving through a mystical doorway of my monthly blood, really. That there's some, you know, there's some um, more mystical aspects of this cycle that I've missed. And they're beautiful. You know, this beautiful sensitivity that um, takes me so deep inside of myself. You know, I'm surrendering to the cycle. I'm surrendering to the tides of the moon, the pull of the moon, and the feminine energies of deep introspection. So I'm coming into this vibration of the priestess in this time. And, you know, it's it's already moving away from me. It was only a, f a window of a few hours, really. And I'm held within these few hours, deep within the magic of the void. There's nothing else I can do. I'm, you know, I'm uncomfortable. I'm hypersensitive. There's nothing else I can concentrate on. And as I let myself go into the void, it's a good place to be. There's a a release in that, a going beyond, a transcendence in that, which is so natural and so easy to experience because, you know, my monthly cycle has taken me there because I've let myself surrender to it. I'm surrendering beyond all question. And as I feel these, like, electrical sensations and waves of pain within my stomach I'm realizing that I'm in my second brain I'm pulled away from my mind and it's like an electrical portal of sensation in my stomach pulling me inward away from the mind away from everything that's surfacing to be cleared so that I can release it without attachment and I'm realizing, you know, there's such a release process going on at this point. Not only am I releasing blood, but I'm releasing the the stuff that I, I couldn't access before that was hidden beneath the surface of myself. And I'm the more that I surrender inwards and enter into this portal through the discomfort in my stomach, the more I follow the tides and the waves of my cycle and follow the call of the moon, the more I'm able to release. Without question, because I've gone beyond question. You know, and I'm surrendering to the darker cycles of nature. <clears throat> I'm moving into passiveness. You know, the cycle of release and death for rebirth the energies of the feminine through the portal of my period through the moon time and so I speak to this today really just just in the hope that it triggers a recognition in you maybe you as a as a woman or maybe you as a partner or a friend to a woman or a mother to a daughter. You know, I speak to the sensitivity of this time and these times in our cycle that's so often a, a subject to ridicule, you know, a subject to, oh, you know, oh, she's on her period, you know, and, and, and subject to disrespect. Um, I have a daughter myself who, you know, I will look, I will have a, a deeper understanding of her processes through this experience. I will try to encourage her to surrender as opposed to overcome this place in her cycle, you know, surrender to. 
because trying to overcome nature is not an easy thing it's exhausting and ultimately you know we we can't <laughs> so that's my small rumble about my experience with my moon time this month Thank you for listening and lots of love.